What's up guys, hope you're having a fantastic day. Welcome back to the final episode of How to Get Diamond in Call of Duty Black Ops 3. Today we're going to be going over the pistols. If you save this for last, you're almost done. It's not that hard, just stay with me and I think I can help you get through this a little bit quicker. So I'm going to be doing this one a little bit different. I'm going to give you tips, but I'm also going to leave an entire gameplay in. That's why this video is so long. So I won't have tips for this whole time, but I'll just let the video play out just so you get an idea of how to play with a pistol. Now, in this gameplay, I did it on Hunted. Now, this is probably the last map you'd want to do pistols on. It's a longer line of sight map, but you can make it work. So I figured I let the whole thing play out so you understand exactly how I play it. Now, honestly, this is my first game on in like 24 hours. So, but I wanted it to be as authentic as possible, show you guys exactly how to play it. I start off poorly, but I end up getting a race, some wraps, and I end up earning the wraith again. So first game on, it's not that hard, it really isn't. Just follow these few tips. So the first thing I want to talk to you guys about might seem kind of extreme, a little out there just to get a pistol challenge done. But it's something I planned on doing way back in Advanced Warfare that I never kind of got used to. And I want to get used to it, but I figured out a different way. I'm getting a different controller that's going to make this easier. But I'll go over that in a different video. But as most of you know, you can switch in your settings, default, tactical, right? Different button layouts. But you can also flip your bumper. So that way R2 becomes R1 and vice versa. Same with L1 and L2. They just kind of flip back and forth. Now what this will do will allow you to fire your weapon quicker, especially something like the MR6 where it's semi-automatic. You can hit R1 much quicker than you can ramp up that trigger to get to 100% in order to fire the weapon. Now this isn't just for pistols, but this will make pistols easier. So if it's something that you're interested in, you might want to try it, you might want to give it a look. I couldn't get used to it, but I know a lot of people that do this and it really does help you fire quicker. So next I'm going to reiterate a point that I made in the last couple of videos play hardcore mode there is no reason I cannot think of any reason to play core game modes while trying to get diamond on your pistols it turns a pistol into a completely viable weapon in this gameplay in particular it was my first game on just started on the map hunted I almost get 50 kills with a pistol because in hardcore mode a pistol is actually good so in core mode you are in such a disadvantage I'm just begging you try hardcore it's gonna make this it's gonna cut it in half at least your time to get diamond so Please give it a try. I know a lot of you guys don't like hardcore. It's not that bad. You're going to get it done much quicker this way. Like, I can't even imagine trying to go for my long shots in core game modes. I don't even know how you would get that done. It would be just so frustrating. Just take my word for it. Do hardcore. Alright, this next tip you guys will know if you watch my best hardcore class setup, and it has to do with the specialist. Kinetic armor is huge in hardcore. Usually people are expecting to kill you in one to two bullets, so they'll fire a shot and start looking for their next target. If you have kinetic armor on, you can take multiple bullets, even in hardcore, and it will really, really help you out, especially when you're going for your double kills or your five kills without dying. You can pop your kinetic armor and just run through the spawn and absolutely destroy with a pistol in hardcore game modes. I, I really highly recommend this. If you don't like kinetic armor, I really highly recommend the abilities for specialists. Something like overdrive might be nice to kind of flank around the enemy. Active camel will come in handy, but all are inferior to kinetic armor in my opinion. So the class setup that I was using in this video is generally what I like to go with. This is the MR6, but it's pretty much all the pistols. I'll run an optic just because you're not going to use a lot of your slots, right? You can you can go perk heavy, you can do whatever you want. It gives you a lot of freedom because you can only have two attachments if you use a wild card on your secondary. So what I like to do is I'll put an optic on there if I'm going for headshots, makes it a little bit easier. But of course, in hardcore, laser sight is huge. You can get headshots just by hip firing. It's going to save you. Don't try it without, just just please try laser sight. I'm, I'm begging you guys, a lot of people oh, oh, like undervalue the laser sight and it's going to really come in handy for you. I also have quick draw for when you do aim down sight looking for the headshots, you can do it a little bit quicker. Now in perk 1, afterburner is really good because you're going to be boosting and dodging and jumping everywhere in order to get into pistol range, although in hardcore that's pretty darn far. Um, also fast hands because you're going to be moving a lot and it's going to help you aim down sight quicker after sprinting. And also in the perk 3, I like to run two perk 3s, Awareness and Dead Silence. It keeps you quiet and Awareness is OP in this game. If you haven't tried it out, I'm telling you, you can hear guys cross map almost with a decent headset. So definitely Awareness and Dead Silence. 
So when it comes down to the challenges, 100 headshots, you that's pretty straightforward. The specialized challenges are nothing too difficult. Long shots are very easy in hardcore. All of them are fairly easy, it just takes time to get them done. 5 kills without dying 5 times is probably the most difficult as it is with most of them, but you'll get it done, don't worry. Kinetic Armor is going to help you with that because that's like an easy 2-3 kills without having to worry about it. So uh, the specialized challenges aren't anything to be too concerned about. Well that's all the tips I have for you uh, on all the classes, this is the final one. If you haven't seen the other ones, I'll put this in a playlist so that you can watch all of them in case you're working on knives or snipers or whatever. I have tips for all of them. Hopefully one or two of these have helped you. If so, if you could like the video, I'd really appreciate it. And if you want to subscribe to the channel for more videos, that would be super great. Um, that'll be it. I'm going to leave the rest of the gameplay in so you can see exactly how I play it. Maybe it'll give you some pointers like, oh, this is what he does here, this is what he does here, just to make it a little bit easier for you guys. I hope you have a fantastic day, and I'll see you later. Losing C. Securing Bravo. Securing Alpha. Bravo secure. Counter UAV inbound.
Daniel. 